if we could make a compilation of some of the worst jokes ever told on this show, I guarantee you that would be all-time blooper reel. What you know about chocolate milk? What you know about chocolate milk, dog? Whoever made it chocolate milk should be awarded a medal, dude. Uh, see, uh, hold on, 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 fuck, uh, I, I don't know if black chicks got chocolate milk coming out their titties, but if they do, I'm going to marry one. I'm going to have one as my slave. Oh, my God. No? You ever, ever been in a situation where you get totally fucked without even knowing about it? Michael, you have to oh, – let's start over. You have to talk in the end right, of Right this into thing. it, Mike. Like directly. You have to put your mouth like right, right next there. to it when you talk. Look where I'm at. Look where I'm at, Mike. Right there. Yeah, you right got there. this, dog. You got it. Put your hands together for Michael Crawford, yeah, everybody. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> shit. This is when you know it gets real when you get on stage and you're like, holy shit, what the fuck is going on here? All right, well, let's bring it back to normal. Have any of you guys ever been, uh, oh, shit. This is, this, oh, fuck. Here, this try this one. This one's louder. This one's louder. Shit. What's up, little buddy? How you doing there? Good. Yeah. You ever got in a situation where you, uh... <laughs> I'm hitting it up. <laughs> I'm tearing it up. I look in the corner, and this guy's in the corner. He's, hey, 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 I can't get hard. What's wrong? I can't get hard. Dude, <laughs> what do you want me to do? I didn't, I don't, oh, shit. What do you want me to do? Oh, God, I'm going to bomb so bad, fuck. <laughs> At least I got a laugh. At least I'm happy. <laughs> All right, let's see. What can we talk about for the next minute or 30 seconds I have left? Let's just go into my call. Let's go into this new year. Uh, let's see. For this new year, I came into very single and all that. I'm very depressed about that. That sucks for myself. <laughs> at least I got a laugh a little bit. Uh, let's see. Let, let's see. Let's. What else? God, I am so fucking nervous. I'm sorry, guys. I apologize. I'm bobbing so bad. Oh, God. Yeah, sorry, guys. Oh, shit. Um, this is on YouTube, right? Yeah, this is... Hey, guys, we're going to try and do this with one mic, but we have to introduce Jeffrey Lineman. What can we say about Jeffrey? Let's see. So Jeffrey has gotten dumped by his girlfriend three times in the past. Do you want to talk about that, or do you want to talk about butt play, or what do you want to talk about, Jeff? Um, yeah, we can talk about, I mean, my, my girl, Jeffrey does look like a guy that likes cuckold porn. Do you want to talk about cuckold porn? Sure. Yeah. I mean, Jeffrey, do the pterodactyl dance while we talk about you. All right. So, uh, Jeffrey has a long-term girlfriend. We invite her to the comedy shows that we do. Uh, we save a seat for her every time, but she, she, yeah. she'll, she'll, she'll come one of these times. It's uh, it's troubling because I also have a crush on Tiffany. Um, well, there definitely is chemistry. Uh, she's a real girl, by the way. Oh yes, Jeffrey has a girlfriend, but she kind of likes Rick. But one nice thing about coming up to England, like I might sound funny to you guys, but at least I can read up here. Like, uh, yeah, and my my Deutsch is uh, scheiße, so. But, um, yeah, so I realized my parents <laughs> fucked up. I got straight A's in school, straight absences. <laughs> I'm going to Sunday school. They're teaching me how to scoop ice cream from the Holy Book of Banana Splits. I'll give time back. <laughs> What? I call that practicing. Because I'm pretty sure if I do that all day, every day for the rest of my life, I'll never be good at it. This is how I practice vigorously.
Thank you. These uh, pho Vietnamese restaurants. Pho. Uh, I like them. Uh, I was walking last week. I saw one with a unique name by the name of Pho Tastic. Next day, I saw another pho restaurant by the name Pho Bulus. I was uh, kicking it in Compton because I was uh, going to get some weed. Saw a pho restaurant that just opened <laughs> by the name of Pho. Real? A uh, Pho Show. <laughs> by the name of Pho Life. All right, motherfuckers, y'all don't like the shit. I, yeah. think, I think you should forget about five of those tags. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, what, part, what part of Texas you went to? What? What part of Texas? You said you are up in Texas, right, recently? No. Yo, are you doing crowd work, bro? <laughs> no, no. Well, Texas is very pro-gay, all right? I'm going to let y'all know that right now. Who do you think... Wasn't funny yet. Who do you think gave them the idea for the footlong corn dog? The assless chaps? No? The mechanical bull? Yeah. That was straight gay jokes. Guys, what's going on here? So, sometimes bombing on this show is still better than anything else these people have done in their lives. Sure. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. it's sort of a win win situation. Right, sure. Very good point. I like your optimism. Some for those of you who saw my last performance here, <laughs> You know I'm crazy, crackers, nuts, loony, wacky. <laughs> I, I got a screw loose. I flew over the cuckoo's nest. I, I'm mad, I tell you, stock raving mad. I'm, I'm mad as a hatter. <laughs> um, I got a Tinder recently. First things first. We know you're not looking for a middle-level sales guy at a paper company. Office reference, anyone? It's not true. We know you're not looking for that guy. No, you're not. You're looking for this guy over here who works at a car dealership. Wasn't it you? I don't remember. That's two Jack Daniels talking. And also, we don't care about your Snapchat filters. Boom, the there. ones with the kitten. I, uh, I recently learned I have 60% of my DNA in common with that of a banana. You guys, if this is true, why am I not more appealing? I was at the DMV. I was at the DMV. I thought things would run a lot faster here at the DMV if cheetahs worked here at the DMV. <laughs> cheetahs. Wild animals. Ah, <laughs> uh, give us a shout out if you used to get a spoon when you were a little kid. No? Everyone well behaved? Fuck, well that just fucks that one, eh? Uh, my uncle used to sneak into my room, make me watch Ghost. My brother had it worse. He used to have to stand in the corner with a wet mop on his head and pretend to be Whoopi Goldberg. It's fucking terrible. Just like this set. <laughs> uh, so a penis walked into a vagina and said, do you come here often? Oh, man. Yeah, I'm just digging deep here. <laughs> no, I look like a skinhead on vacation. Like the clan at a beach day. I've got that, I've been hit by cars, head injury kind of confidence. <laughs> I don't really have more than that right now. Cause I also smoke too much weed and it's the first freaking pull of the bucket, Jesus. <laughs> I did not settled in yet. Ah, um, wow. I've got that. I've been hit by cars, head injury, and memory, too. And I'm just choking more because it's talking to it. <laughs> Jesus.
<laughs> that look. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. I mean, I didn't know. I didn't know whether to save you or what. There, I just oh. wanted to. I sort of wanted to just let your concussions do the talking for a little bit. Well, what's the difference between Eric Clapton and a bag of cocaine? Uh, I don't want you to finish this joke. No, I don't know. What is it? Clapton didn't let a bag of cocaine fall off a four flight of stairs. There you go. I don't think you told it right. What's the difference between his son and a bag of cocaine? Would be the. That's what. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bunch of bomb artists here. Last time I was here, I did an anti-flag reference. It didn't go well at all. All the comedians over there. St- oh, okay. <laughs> you know, like okay. We're so oppressed. Any time we want to talk about race, it's racism. That. If I want to hang out with a girl, it's me too, this. Do you know what the irony of it is? The only people who understand what we feel as white comedians are the niggers. I can't. Yes, you can, my white sister. I'm like, no, no, I don't watch girly dance movies. I'm not going to watch Step Up with you. And then Step Up to the Streets came out. Fuck that joke up. Whatever. Hey, we keep rolling. We keep rolling, guys. We keep rolling, baby. So, uh, <laughs> one more, guys. Uh, the other day, this girl sent me a picture. It was of, of Snatch- on Snapchat of her and her vibrator. I'm fucking up, guys. <laughs> picture of her and her vibrator, guys. And I was like, Wow. You know, send me... Fuck, dude. Hey, dude. Fuck. Dude, I'm fucking gonna be a viral sensation or something. No, you're not. (laughs) (laughs) No. No, it's the opposite. Good Charlotte, like, I was into it when I was, like, 14, but, you know, wow, I really fucked up with the cigarettes. Uh, But, you know... Fuck, I lost the train. Oh, I forgot where it was going. Doesn't matter. Oh, I was. Go- uh, here's. I just want. I'm doing it. Oh wait, that could get in trouble. I won't do that. Never mind. I was good because the lyrics. Oh, holy shit! You. I looked over for. <laughs> I looked over for. <laughs> you were like, <gasps> don't. Do- no, I created that. Oh, I. I used too much. No, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> when you. <laughs> I'm still going. I just chose. Okay, okay, okay. I there chose you go. finger paint. Hey, don't <laughs> take this shit. Ah, damn it! I got to. I was really excited tonight. It's um, pretty suspect whenever somebody uh, thinks that their own race is the master race. Like, it's a little convenient, right? Um, <laughs> oh, jeez. Bombing is the intern. Um, so, uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, Jesus Christ. I got a pocket pussy, but it's pretty hard to fuck while it's in my pocket. Or at least that's what I told TSA while they were searching my bags. <sighs> How y'all doing tonight, Pat Reagan? Just laughing your ass off at me, just bombing here. I'm <laughs> God, I wish this crowd was full of crickets. That way I could say I was playing to my target audience. <laughs> you sons of bitches. You sons of fucking bitches. They said, oh yeah, great, you're gonna lose so much weight. What the fuck? No. You just like cry a lot. On top of like depression and everything else. But this is really weird. Being paid to be on the clock. Hey, how's it going? I don't know, you're smoking a jewel. I, I don't know what you want me to say. What I the fuck are you doing? I don't know what the fuck like I'm what, doing what it, I didn't really come with come up with any uh, uh, stand-up material, so I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna do. I, I'm just gonna for the next 20 seconds. <laughs> for, for the next 20. <laughs> so. So so how about the Steelers? How about the Pittsburgh Steelers? Can you, can you play the, the meow sound? 
You're better than All right, time. there you go. That's your time, Jared. Right. Thank uh, you. This is, uh, it's all been wonderful. This is dog shit as it gets. It's just a clump uh, of dog shit humans here. There he goes, Jared Trinkler. You can put the mic back in the mic stand. There you go. You're done, Jared. Yeah, thank you. Jared, you're all done. No one wants to talk with you. All put right. the mic in the mic. No, it's okay. Go ahead. Jared Trinkler, everybody. There he goes, Jared Trinkler. Back to obscurity you go. It's that way, buddy. Um, <laughs> what the fuck was that? <sighs> There's those two words where, like, people... You know what the fuck I'm talking about. Nope. What was those two words that were, were, like, people thought you heard one word, but it was a different word? And Ellen... Who said it? So what, what was it? What did you think it was? <laughs> it was uh, correct answer is female ejaculation, ladies and gentlemen. Female ejaculation. I have to, uh, I'm a Kamekamaida, all praise be to Allah. Uh, this is, uh, I am just the subject of this universe, and um, I have to give credit to my creator. All right, uh, give a cheer if, if you are a projection. Okay. Of course you are, you fucking faggots. Oh, I'm sorry. So, uh, any of my niggas out there? Yeah! Yeah! Oh, yeah. I see you in the fucking crowd. All right? Any bloods, any crips? All uh, right, no, I mean, it's cool, it's cool. I'm drunk as fuck. I'm pretty sure most of you are. Alright? <laughs> Why the fuck you laughing, man? Why the fuck you laughing? Wow. Leroy Jenkins. Best jokey of all T-I-M-E. Homosexuality and the Turing test. Round of A-P-P-L-E-R-S-E -E for The Penguin and Professor X. More than five years of what are referred to as Kill Tony events. Wow, wow, we wow. Oh, thanks, thanks, thanks. But anyways, I was uh, sitting out on my porch late at night smoking some reefer. A little bit like this. Damn, that's some good kush. But anyways, I was uh, thinking, <laughs> I was thinking about the dictionary because I was looking at it while I was on the toilet. That's like the only book we had next to it, so you got to read it. And you know we got words in the dictionary that are the same thing with two different meanings? They're called homonyms. Well, anyways, they're pretty fucking shitty because I think they just ruin everything. Like, think about race, for example. You got 26 letters in the fucking alphabet, and you couldn't think of another word to describe that. Like, one thing is something you place first, second, and third in. The other is a skin color. You wonder why people are so racist. Like, literally, it's in the fucking dictionary. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> yeah. If you don't want to know how much your entrails look like ragu, stay out of Brazil. Um... A little advice I have for all Brazilians, as a matter of fact, eat nothing but ragu. That way people would just think, oh, you're pretty much dead at that point. Now they'll go, ha, ah, son of a bitch, well, what did I write? Yeah, this one's for uh, all the people who, <laughs> this one's for all the people who carry their bag of whatever in their mouth from the kitchen to their couch, like it hasn't been touched by some snotty nosed kid or in the armpit of some bum who couldn't purchase it and had to put it back. Um, but yeah, comedy store. Gotta love the comedy store, right? <laughs> <laughs> nah, 
I really thought about it. It's gross if you think about it. People don't, put don't. bags in their mouths and what bag? What bags? A bag of whatever. Like a chips, bag of whatever. What chips, does that mean chips, to you? Where do you see people gummy with gummy bears or whatever? Like when you carry something in your mouth, it's kind of from gross. the kitchen to the couch. Yeah. Why would anybody Why? ever carry it in their I mouth? Saw, I don't What's know. in I your saw, hands? I, Drink? I don't know. A drink? A drink? Okay. Two, you hold the cup with two hands? How many drinks do you have? You have a fucking sippy cup, MJ? Okay. Um, when I have sex, I like to grunt. And it sounds something like this. A fucking incredibly bad <laughs> episode of this show. This is like wow. Um, goddamn anomaly. Well, the homosexual dog is home alone, horny, and naked, wiping his dirty ass all over the carpet. And then when you come home, he's willing to fuck you in the ass. <laughs> and then you're out every single night. Ross battles. Battle. 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 <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Battle! 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 There you go. Just turns into battle! A battle! GT. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Stop, GT. Honestly, I don't bomb. Uh, okay. A lot of times, I don't bomb. Right. Uh, I love that. Literally checked into the hotel down the street here. The lady doing the house cleaning was chugging a bottle of water. She had a hard hat. I walked by and I was like, oh my God, what's going on? She's like, you have no idea. I was like, I think I have an idea. Oh God. <coughs> so, uh, been single for 15 years. Oh, it's not a joke. That's just... Um, had a lot of ideas. <laughs> now this shit just went... Uh, yes, I have pink eye. Uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, uh, my boyfriend came in my eye three days ago, and it got oh, bad. Shit. Can we disqualify uh, him? So I'm just going to uh, uh, do something a little different. Dylan, yeah. Dylan, yeah. Dylan, Dylan, you, you just got to go. Right you're gonna, Dylan, you got to go. Do, do you got to go, Dylan. I'm sorry. Go. We can't next have time. you up here with Come, pink You know what? Maybe we'll put it to the side. We love you. We're then, we'll have you oh, back so. next week when you don't have pink eye, okay? There he yeah, goes. Totally. Dylan Gray, everybody. There he goes. That's fucking absolutely disgusting. Can we get uh, Josh yeah. Martin yes. uh, Josh with a spray spray thing for well, the microphone? Keep going. No, no, no. Just can't keep. It's Clorox right over there. I can't hang around people keep, with no, Dylan, pink guy. Seriously, uh, I wish you the best of luck, but you shouldn't be in that close proximity to anybody. Yeah, it's highly contagious, Dylan. You just need to Dylan. fucking Dude, walk I, away. I bet he's not going to do that opener again. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? God, you're gorgeous. What's your name? Uh, Sarah. Sarah, Jesus, you're amazingly beautiful. God, you're... I, I saw you sitting here alone. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you ever just look at a chick and think, God, I could overpower her as a friend <laughs> who desperately wants to have sex with you. No, I'm kidding. I do want to have sex with you. Yeah, the rape... I mean, you pretty much said you wanted to rape her. You know? <laughs> but as a friend... I, I, I know, but, but the joke was rape, and oh, you're, she's right there. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Sorry, I must have been on mute. <clears throat> hey, do we have any armed forces in the house? Soldiers? Army? Any soldiers? No? Respects our troops, guys. <laughs> um, well, if, if there was one... What I was going to ask is, do soldiers like Soldier Boy? I know. I didn't think I was going to get called up, so I'm, like, very nervous. But I also want to say that I hate PT Cruisers, so your comment earlier was very... It, it hit me real hard. So, um, <laughs> in the winter, I am super depressed here. I feel terrible. 
and I hate everything. And then in the springtime, I'm just kind of like, oh my God, life is a musical, it's wonderful, and I can't believe it. And I don't know, it's been raining all day and I just, I can't get over it. And yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I thought it would be useful if I opened a pillagin right next to villagin and just stole all their shit. Just sold it in my place. <laughs> so, so you know here you have a whoa whoa. Come on now. Thank you. So you know how um, high school yearbooks, a lot of times they have superlatives, you know? So I thought, it'd be, I thought it'd be funny if, you know, they had realistic superlatives. Like my mom got most likely to be an airhead. Um, I thought it'd be funny if it was like most likely to die in combat. We all know that guy, right? <laughs> Seemed like a cocaine crowd, right? You guys like coke? I never, I never liked cocaine. I don't understand it. I hate my thoughts. Why would I want them to be faster? Doesn't make sense. That's like giving your high school bully a gym membership. There you go. That's the bit. That is the bit. <laughs> Ooh. Ugh. Is that it? Are you done? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. With that bit? I yeah, that, yeah. That, that you have 40, 40 seconds left. You do that between bits and we're... <laughs> I'm very, I'm very efficient. This guy's got a tight ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> In the beginning, there was goat versus fish. The goat fish. And goat versus fish said that there should be goat and that there should be fish. There is no alpha or omega. There is no black or white. There is no good or evil. There is only goat and fish and goat versus fish. Who is goat versus fish? What is goat versus fish? Why is goat versus fish? There is only one question. Are you goat or are you fish? Ponder it, ponder it now. This is goat versus fish. This is goat versus fish. Would you know my name if I bombed on Kiltony? 